Hello everyone, this is a quick introduction to the Stellarium program. And the first thing we're going to do is to uh, go down to the lower left hand side of the screen and check out the menu. This is our horizontal menu. There's also a vertical menu. As we move to the left or right, two different menus appear. Now the description on the horizontal menu is on the upper left hand side of the menu so as I move my cursor I can see right here there is a description of each one of these icons and so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the atmosphere this is going to change my sky dark and the sun is still visible in the sky because it's in the afternoon right now next thing I'm going to do is to uh, go change my uh, location on earth so I'm going to go here very top now here all the information is on the right side of the menu so this is a location menu I'm going to click on it I'm in San Diego California so I'm going to click here look for my location San Diego California I see three options here I'm going to click on San Diego California there's also San Diego Costa Rica and Rancho San Diego. So it's already been done. Now I'm going to close this and I'm going to change my time and date here. So I'm going to click on it. This is my date 2020. It's September 6th and time is 1400 hours which is 4 o'clock in the afternoon about 4.30 in the afternoon. So I can change it to 4.30 or 5.30 on the 7th of Next thing I'm going to change is my viewing options. So here I'm going to click my viewing options here and I'm going to go on top and I see there's a few options here. There's a general option for the sky, there's an option for the planets, there's an option for deep sky objects. Marking is the one that I'm going to need right away. I'm going to put in the celestial equator here. The color of my celestial equator is right here, so I can see the celestial equator in the sky. There it is. And I'm going to put the celestial poles in there, so I can see North Celestial Pole just appearing here. If I click it off again, it goes on and off. I can also change the color of North Celestial Pole. I can make it yellow. Now it's yellow. Now that's all I'm going to have for now. And I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go down and take a look at my other options. Now I can change the speed at which the Earth is rotating. This is speeding it down. This is speeding it up. So I'm going to click it a few times. And I can see things rising in the east and setting in the west. I can speed it up. I can stop it. Or I can make the Earth go backwards as well. Here's the earth going backwards. Now I can also uh, use the uh, mouse wheel and go into the sky zooming in. So this is a zoomed part of the sky. I can also zoom out by using the same wheel zooming in and zooming out. I can see this is a constellation of Cassiopeia. Here I can put the lines in. There's constellation of Cassiopeia. Here's the labels for constellation of Cassiopeia. If I want to see the shapes of the constellation, there's uh, Queen Cassiopeia sitting in her chair. And then I can change uh, <clears throat> the uh, coordinates in the sky. This is my altazimuth coordinates. This is my equatorial coordinates. I can go in and move at will anywhere in the sky. I can move my uh, screen left and right by holding on to the left mouse key. I can zoom out just a little bit or zoom in and click on a star. I can get the information on the star right here. I can see all the information. As soon as I right click, information goes away. So there is a star in Pegasus. There's Beta Pegasus, and then I right click and the information goes away. Well, I hope this has been useful. By clicking here, this is the exit. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to exit the program.